Welcome to the video demonstration for the Inbox in Canvas. The Inbox is located in the global navigation on the left. This is where you will communicate with instructors and students in any of your Canvas courses. All communications here are referred to as conversations. Any communications needing to be done outside of Canvas, such as to financial aid, registration, or department heads, should be done using your Outlook email. Think outside of Canvas equals Outlook. Once in the inbox, you will see a list of conversations on the left and a menu bar at the top. You can sort your conversations by clicking the All Courses drop-down menu. Clicking the Inbox drop-down menu allows you to view all inbox conversations, all unread conversations, all starred conversations, all sent conversations, all archived conversations, and all submission comments conversations. You may notice that to the left of each conversation there is a square and circle. The circle indicates whether or not a conversation has been read. A blue outline indicates a conversation has been read and a blue solid circle indicates a message has not been read yet, as shown when unread conversations are selected. Clicking on a conversation places a check in the square and shows the conversation to the right panel. You can use the toolbar to now reply, reply all, archive, or delete the conversation. The more options allows you to forward this conversation to any teacher or student within this course. It also allows you to star the conversation, which is similar to favoriting or highlighting. To compose a new message, click on the pencil icon. Select the course by using the Select Course drop-down menu. Instead of typing in an email address, you're going to click the People icon to the right of the To box. You can select any teachers within the course or any students within the course. Holding down the Control key allows you to select multiple names. Type in your subject and then type in your message. There is an attachment icon, but we discourage you from using attachments in Canvas due to file size restrictions. Any attachments that need to be sent should be done using your Outlook email. When you are finished, click the Send button and it will send it to those recipients. If there are many conversations in your conversation list and you are searching for a specific recipient, you may type in the name in the search box and it will come up with the names of either teachers or students in that in your courses. Once you select the name, it will show you only the conversations for that recipient. This concludes the video demonstration for the Inbox in Canvas. Thank you for watching.